it's not a phone call that any parent should get. I was in so much shock, I just could not breathe. Completely numb. On the 16th of May 2009, we had a serious traffic accident. The incident involved a group of young people. Hayley was a beautiful person inside and out. Hayley always seemed to be the person that if you needed help, she was always there for you. She was always there for her friends. She believed in doing the right thing and standing up for what you believe in and who you are. They'd organised a lift through another friend to be picked up, to be taken out. He pulled up in the car out the front and they all hopped in the car. He had told the group that he was right to drive. He had severely underestimated how much alcohol he had in his body. He was a young male, adolescent, minimal driving experience. He, with intent, started to swerve along the road. There were people in the car that were saying to him to stop what he was doing. He was speeding, he had the music up. They were screaming for their lives to get out of the car. They were scared with his behaviour and a wheel popped off the vehicle and he lost control of the car and collided with an oncoming car. And unfortunately, an innocent person seated in the back of the car was the one to lose her life and the rest of the occupants escaped the crash relatively unscathed. Hayley was laying on the side of the road with a sheet over her and I stayed with her until emergency services came. Hayley's story here is so important and relevant to young people. You have a person within the adolescent age group who has lost her life. You have a group of people within that same age group who have been affected and certainly the families. When we look at how it applies to the Fatal Five, we saw speeding, alcohol and seatbelts. We see risk-taking behaviour by young people in terms of the behaviour of the driver, but also of the people who got into the car who probably under peer pressure could have said no but didn't. And certainly the time of night where a young person is more likely to be involved in an incident. As a first responder going to those jobs, it is terribly hard. It's the one thing that you dread and you're delivering that news to someone else and you know that that news is going to forever change that family. My family still struggle. Um, we all struggle. It's going to be something that will, it'll never go away. If you hop in the car, taking drugs or drink driving, there's a big possibility you're going to kill someone. Think about what you're doing because that next step that you take will change your life and someone's life forever.